Okay, I guess we can do it right here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 44, Extend. In today's episode, we reviewed our work since last time. We reflected on how to present work when sharing. For example, determine your available audience attention. We had an audience that was very rushed. And also, we watched some more videos working with voice and adding resonance, placement, cadence, and musicality to our vocabulary for dimensions. We continued working with poise. We restructured arc six with a more solid ending, which you just heard. We added uh, the contrabass shimmer to our arcs one and three. And we added sparkle glockspiel to arcs two and four. And we added both to arc five. And we also did an important test where we used our phone to play a little piano and recorded music through our mic. And what we learned was to do that, we have to use this mic. You're going to hear a catchy voice sound now. So this mic, when you look at the filters, has no noise suppression on it, only gain. This upper mic has noise suppression on it, and we usually use that. The trouble with the noise suppression mic is that uh, you can't hear anything other than our voice, including the phone. So we've, we then went into our 3D platform and verified that as long as we use this one, uh, not that one, it will come through. And in order to prove that, we had to we had to do a little bit of recordings here, which was kind of fun. Here's what it looked like. Okay, so this is both mics. And you can see the mic signal on AUX2 is way up there. It's totally hearing the phone. So we also have a new cool audio effect. But back to normal here. So what we're going to do for you today is um, play the new updated piece from start to finish, and that should bring us home. So here we go. We have to restart it. Here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. There's a lot of things we like about our work today, and we did do a lot of work today. The um, counterbalancing of the, what we call the sparkle against the syncopated backbone really plays out well here in places like this. Uh, the the extra work we did on the shimmer down here, the basically we played it so that each shimmer line is almost a counter melody on its own. Like, for example, and um, it's starting to come together really nicely, we feel. So our ideas for next time are... To continue working, working with poise, revisit Sparkle and Arc 5. We, we have some ideas in there. And then uh, we, we made some tempo changes, and Arc 6 is now ripe for something to be added to. You could see that the whole that whole last part of uh, is, is all empty except for the figure line. Um, also, get back to our animation and also do some more testing. We're having a presentation coming up in 11 days, and that's why we're doing the testing with feeding phone sounds through our mic, because we want to demonstrate some uh, impromptu music app stuff and also play some of these compositions. Thanks very much to Robin Lord, Flag, and Contour Lope for stopping by today. We appreciate your presence and attention. Look forward to seeing you all at the next stream. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming.